Yeah. Nice yeah. to see you too. Yeah. Um, so, okay, so Kavma is dead. Yes. And so does that mean that you are the, the new leader of the house of Takuvma? Um <laughs> I can't believe I just say it's just a day away, watch 104 to find out the full details. But I, d I will say Laurel has a deep respect for what Takuvma set forth and his message of unification is very important to her and she's going to do everything in her power to make that message be heard. Okay, so the Klingons in the first few episodes that we've seen seem deadly serious. <laughs> do, do they lighten up at all? I mean, is I, I, it's, I'm just like so thrilled that it's like episode four is tomorrow. That's all. That's my big thing. But I, I really feel that what's fun about the first two episodes is you meet us in a time of battle. You meet us preparing for war. You meet us as we have usually been seen. You know, and I think what will be fun, yes, as the show progresses, is you get a window into who we are to each other when we're not going off to battle. And I'm, I'm really proud of um, what the writers created in that regard and what we were able to infuse into it as actors. And I'm really looking forward to hear what you guys, uh, I mean, yeah hear what you guys have to say. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, but I yeah, promise you some fun stuff. What's your favorite part of being a Klingon? Oh. Wonderful. They're rushing you through that. You know what? I love, I, I always joked I never really felt like a human growing up. I, I never really felt like, oh, I'm, I grew up in the valley. I'm technically a valley girl from L.A., but I never really felt like I fit that. And there's something about Laurel specifically, but also the Klingons in general, being an alien species is just like so empowering and it feels more almost more authentic to me than sometimes in my day-to-day -day life. They get to be as full and true as, 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 as they can be.